What's up, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop here. Beautiful Friday morning. So, I have the, yes, I do have the Love and Flip Flop video coming, but I was in two groups and a conversation got started. Shout out to Paradise Life um, about Sasua. You know, how things are open and things are closing, whatever the case may be. So, I was asked a lot of questions. I'm going to respond to those questions in the two groups. First off, yes, Class Coast is open today. Um, they will be open today. Uh, I'm actually waiting for my VIP. Uh, we're going partying tonight for Dave's birthday. Shout out to Dave, Paradise Life. We're going to Porta Plata to party. Then after Porta Plata, we're coming back to Classico. So I'm waiting for my VIP right now. I will be in there. I will post videos on the IG, go live, whatever the case may be. Now, it keep, the, the race thing kept coming up, and I've answered it a few times, but here's what I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I've noticed that the race card gets pulled by people who only been here for a few years. I've been here damn near 13 years now, I believe it is. So, I will tell you this. To the brothers. And someone said, someone made this comment. I'm actually repeating the comment because I totally agree with it. The brothers stay in two to three spots. And y'all call them the black spots. There are no black spots in Sassoua. Or Dominican Republic for that matter. There are bars and clubs. Um, so, because you stay in two to three spots. When those spots get closed down, you assume... It's because of race. I've already explained to you that it's because of the girls. And here, here is my, here is my evidence. And I can't put the video on here, but here's my evidence. As soon as a couple spots opened on the strip yesterday, the very first video I saw, the very first video, was a girl twerking in the middle of the street at three o'clock in the afternoon. That is why the strip was closed. And I'm laughing. I sent, I sent, I, I, I resent the video. I said, this is why. The strip was closed. The girl is literally, people are walking back and forth, and she's twerking in the middle of the street. That's the reason. It has nothing to do with race. Because the brother who owns Winter Circle or Flame Bar, he was not closed. It was closed by the spots where the girls frequented and caused the ruckus. All these years, it's been going on. But the girls got worse and worse. And like I said, it's the local girls in the local towns. Either way. And because you guys stayed in two to three spots, you guys felt... Oh, man, it's the brothers. Well, here's the case. I've been in every single establishment in Sasua. The ones you call white, Canadian, German, whatever you want to call them. I've been in every single one. Never felt no type of way. I hung with white guys. Never had an issue. I've been in the German bar. No one looked at me funny. So leave the racial stuff back home because we're on an island with beautiful women in paradise. Why should we be worried about racism? Now... Are we louder and more seen than most people? Of course. That's just what it is. But is that the reason that they say, oh, we don't want you here? I haven't heard one hotel turn down your reservation. Haven't heard one restaurant say we ain't got no seats for you. I haven't seen it. Now, with Flip Flop, you come here, it's white, black. It's all different nationalities. Everybody's here. I mean, catering to one group is kind of stupid and a bad business plan, in my opinion, anywhere in the world. Um, so I, we catered everybody. Uh, but... I've seen the same amount of people. Just recently, we had three weeks of rain, so it was kind of crazy. Talk, talking to brothers left and right, everybody's asking what's going on, blah, blah, blah. So throw the racism card out, because like I said, I think that's more people who haven't been around and haven't seen this town and the changes it's been over the past 10 years. And shout to my brother, uh, I just spoke to him the other day, Rudy, from Porta Plata. We just spoke about, um, he was here 10 years ago. He said the same thing. You see the changes. Things, none of you, and I'm going to say this again, I'm going to say it again. None of you are the same from 10 years ago. Shoot, I was a bodybuilder. I got a gut now. Come on. None of you are the same from 10 years ago. So don't expect this to be the same from 10 years ago. And then the wild part is, I forgot, I forgot my bro's name. I'm sorry I forgot your name, brother. First time here, never, heard, never seen the strip, only heard about it. He was having a ball. 
He said, man, I don't know what's going on. I've never seen this trip, but I'm having fun. So, as I said, Sisua, Dominican Republic is what you make it. You're here for vacation. You're not here to worry about race relations. You're not here to think about Trump and racist people back in the States. You're not here for that. You're not here for Confederate flags, KKK, all that BS. You come here for vacation, enjoy yourself. So, let me break down the steps that happened because I don't talk hearsay, I talk facts. Everywhere got closed, from Chez Montreal, which is called the Canadian Bar, I guess because it's owned by a Canadian, all the way down to Classico. Everything got closed. Every single establishment got closed, including the German Bar. They all went to court. One by one, they all went to court. Chez Montreal opened first. They were the first spot to reopen. Um, what was the name of that spot? Excuse me. Rumba, the King's Bar, opened second. Now, they just reopened officially yesterday, but they were able to be reopened two weeks ago. They actually did reopen two weeks ago, but they closed down because they have two spots. Now they're reopening because Classicals is open. I think that's the, that's the reason. So they were open, able to open two weeks ago. After that, the German bar, Bar Central, they were allowed to open. It's all in, in unison. One, two, three. So Chez Montreal was able to open first. Kings was able to open second. And then the German bar. Now, Classicals is able to open. And after Classicals, in a week or two, Flow or Pratinia Bar is able to open. It's all in unison. One, two, three, four. It's not no magic. They went to court. They won. It's in unison. Now, Merengue, for some reason, is under a different thing, so they're not able to open yet. But upstairs in Classico will be open tonight. Um, so, you know, it's like I don't try to give you useless information. I don't try to give you... Uh, too much opinionated information. I come with experience of my time being here. And as I said, the race card is crazy. I've actually had some people talk to me like, why do people keep talking about race? If you say it enough, people start to believe it. You know, if I keep saying the sky is falling, people start to believe it and they start looking up. So if you keep using a race card, people start to believe it. There is no race card in Sisu. Okay, because the fact is classical, where you guys claim is a black club, is owned by an Italian. Uh, Pratinia Bar is owned by a Dominican. I mean, I don't see the race card. And the black spot, the black bar, Flame, or Winter Circle, as some of you know it, was not closed at all. He closed on his own because he was like, there was no business out there for him. You know, so as I said, as soon as um, things started going back on the street, I was sending out tweets and all this stuff. And the first video I saw was a girl tweaking in the middle of the street. So you're telling me race is an issue, but you don't see that girl tweaking and twerking in the middle of the street? It is what it is. Look, so Sue is what you make it. I told a couple of my guys, go check those little mom and pop bars, Four Roses, Cuckoo Bar down the road with the pool table. Go check all these bars out on your way down the strip if you want to go down that way. And you'll see it's live. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? Guys are having a ball at the mom and pop spots, the smaller spots, the spots where you never went before because you thought... You wasn't allowed. The brothers all up in there. Um, everybody's all up in there. White, black, they're all up in those mom and pop spots having a ball. I got videos, white and black, drunk as hell, having a ball together. Those spots you never went to. The closing of the strip should have opened your eyes to more than just that 150 yards. I'm going to say it once, I'm going to say it for the last time. So sue is what you make it. Now that guys are venturing out to more than two or three spots, they're starting to see, wow, there's more going on. And I'm sure some guys are going to leave uh, messages on this, on, this, uh, on this video, testimony, saying, hey, he's right. He told me to go to those spots, and I had a ball. Excuse me. He told me to go to those spots, and I had a ball. I told everybody, head down the strip where, where, the, where the so-called action is at. I don't go down there. I go to Puerto Plata and, and to the mom and pop spots. And then you'll see pop in a couple of bars. Pop in the bar here. Pop in the bar there that you normally wouldn't go to, and you'll have a ball. So this is Mr. Flip Flop with my PSA, so Sue affects my version, um, answering the questions that were asked me in the videos, I mean, um, excuse me, in the uh, two groups I'm in, Paradise Life. So I'm going to go enjoy myself. I'm going to go to Porta Plata tonight, celebrate Dave's birthday. Then I'm going to come back and party up in Classical. I'm going to do live. I'm going to shoot some videos, show you guys, you know, hey, everything's cool. And then just going to enjoy it because Sasu is what I make it, just like Sasu is what you make it. So you guys enjoy your Friday. Have a great weekend. Much love, much appreciation. Flip flop and I'm out.